What's going on, y'all? Roman here from Left Eye, Right Eye, back at you with another Everydays. Today is Tuesday, November 9th. Um, I did a little piano practice upstairs, and I, um, I like to play until I mess up. And then when I mess up, I usually try to like turn that into some sort of a um, chord pattern or something. So I did that, and I went through... I deleted. I deleted all this, the the practice in the front, and I split up uh, some chords. Actually, I remember ending the practice with like four chords that I just held, and then did them um, and sustained them. So the first part, this first track here, piano piano pattern, is just like a little chord progression back and forth. I added a noise compressor and. Um, a, uh, a noise suppressor and a compressor. Um, the second sound, I added a little bit of a phase. Um, I was messing around with the Phasis uh, plugin, um, and also added, I guess, a compressor on that. Uh, the third sound, I cleaned it up, and then I added. A, I wanted to add a high pass filter, so I did that. And then I wanted to make it sound like a little different, so I just was messing around with different plugins. And I used this guy here, the auto pan, which I like. And I changed the LFO to a ramp instead of uh, just a sine wave, and that got it sounding cool. Um, I liked that kind of like whoop, whoop, whoop kind of noise that was happening, so that was cool. Um, then I was messing around with the bouncing, and for some reason I was, I guess I had a, that plugin was a mono to stereo plugin, and it was bouncing as two separate uh, multi mono tracks. So I went through and I, I had to, I found that you really have to make sure to interleave them. So I learned that. Um, and then the last two uh, did similar stuff, just kind of like tweaking the noises a little bit, making them all sound a little different. This one I added some noise and some uh, lowered the sample rate and the bit rate, and um, and I got that one sounding kind of lo-fi. And the last one I did was a um, I added a a very very little bit of a pitch shift, and then I automated the wet dry mix which I thought was cool. I definitely am going to use that again in the future. And that's it. The last sound is actually just some, some noise. I added a little reverb too. I thought it sounded cool. And that's all. So enjoy the rest of your evening. God bless and take care. Thank you.